mode. Well, good day, everyone. Welcome to our Saturday TLD uh, <laughs> webinar. It's uh, very exciting. We've got a, a fantastic call uh, lined up for you. We're going to get right into it here. I'm Garth Borthissel, and uh, I'll be hosting today's call. We have our keynote guest, Paul Burnett, who I'll just bring on in a minute, but we also have some other guests on the phone. And uh, after we're done talking with Paul, we're going to bring some testimonies on the Trivita Shield. Some of the pilot group is having ex great experiences, like myself, for example. And uh, we're going to start talking about that. So I'm very excited about both aspects of our call today. So with that, uh, many of you know Paul, have probably talked to Paul or have heard him on webinars in the past. Paul is the director of the Trivita Wellness Center. He's got quite a list of accomplishments. Sometimes uh, we just think, oh, he's just the director, but he's also a board certified doctor of holistic health. You can see on the screen if you're watching, he's a holistic wellness practitioner, a nutrition specialist, a certified bioenergetic practitioner, and a clinical hypnotherapist, which uh, I'm not sure we'll get into that one today. But uh, Paul, it is great to have you once again on the call, and I always enjoy talking to you, whether it's offline or on these calls. So welcome to today's call. Gar, thank you so much for having me today. It's a privilege to be here today. Oh. Uh, well, thank you for that. So uh, what we're going to do, everyone, um, one of the things is we're, we're going to try to figure out the science or what what is going on when, it, when we talk about wellness, when we talk about Trivita Shield. Uh, Paul is right in the thick of it. He not only gets it as far as helping the development of it, but also the systems of wellness and what we're really talking about. Because sometimes as ITBOs, I know as I learn more about the shield and where Trivita is going, I'm trying to wrap my head around what do we really have here? I know we have something very, very special and we have something very dynamic, but what's the science behind it? What what makes this work? What are we representing as ITBO? So Paul's going to come on and help us to try and uh, give us some uh, insights into all of that. So what I encourage you to do is if there's something Paul says or something that triggers with you or a line that you'd like that he said, write it down for yourself, first of all. If you have questions, um, you can drop a question in the in the question panel uh, on the right hand uh, tab of your screen and I'll try to get to those but uh, uh, really try and glean uh, pieces of information that really are going to resonate with you and how you're going to be talking about the shield and the direction of Trivita. So with that Paul let's start digging into it. Um, I've got some questions that are sort of guideline us. We'll probably go off on tangents which is more than okay. But uh, right from the beginning, when we've been talking about Trivita Shield, uh, Michael uses it, I've heard Dr. Conard use it, I've heard you use it, about the whole idea of reducing risk. So can you kind of talk about that a little bit? What do you mean by reducing risk? And then secondly, related to that, I know that numbers are very important in this, and, and there's a lot of numbers in Trivita Shield and those kind of things. So uh, talk a little bit about what that means to reduce risk and why that's so important. So, you know, there's a wide variety of uh, risk <laughs> factors that are associated with uh, chronic disease. And just to go over a few today, things that people can be monitoring on their, on their own time, one of them is weight. Um, we know that uh, excessive weight is a significant risk factor. And not only is the weight an issue, but the waist circumference, the what they call visceral level, um, which you know you can get an in-body assessment to determine, and even percentage of body fat, where they can take a caliper and kind of you know measure the fat, and many doctors do that as well. But these are all risk factors for the chronic diseases. And one of the things with weight, as we know, um, we have the ability when we're disciplined to monitor and, and make sure that we're at a healthy weight. And in addition to weight, we have blood pressure. You know, it's a significant risk factor associated with chronic diseases. And, you know, number one reason for death in the United States is heart disease and understanding what can drive uh, blood pressure. 
One of the main things that can drive blood pressure is weight. Uh, another uh, significant influencer for blood pressure is stress. And, you know, I think how we relate to the stimuli that's going on around us is really, really important to, to become aware of how I truly feel in that moment and to take that moment and, and absolutely say, is this a feeling that I want to feel? So stress is a, is, a, is a big risk factor as well. You know, of course, poor diet, you know, by eating refined foods. Mm -hmm. You know, the key to life is really putting fuel into your body that will support the energy that you want. If, if we all owned a Ferrari and we put diesel fuel into that Ferrari, I promise you, no matter if that car was brand new or not, it's not going to run the way it needs to run. Um, there, that can cause nutrient deficiencies. You know, a sedentary lifestyle is another thing to really start to think about. Um, the government has actually come out and now said that a sedentary lifestyle, meaning where you're sitting uh, long periods of time throughout the day, is the new modern day smoking. And um, so it's really important that we move. Um, toxicity is a big issue as well. We're putting a lot of things into our bodies. Um, many of the things that we put in our bodies we can't even pronounce and if someone asked us what it was we might not even be able to tell them what it is and these are actual ingredients in, in many of the foods we're eating so toxicity is another major risk factor and really a foundation for a lot of the diseases to, to, to manifest. Okay so uh, tell me if this statement's right or wrong so what, you, what you're saying is obviously the goal of either what you do at the Wellness Center or what the Tribeta Shield will help a person do is to identify their areas of risk and with all these risks there's valuations behind them or numbers or a level something that indicates where we are in that and that's the starting point towards what we're doing uh, at Trivita in general. Is that is that a fair enough statement? It is true, and, and really what we're wanting to do is, is move closer and closer to a systems and organ support for health. And, um, you know, you have nine systems in your body, and we have a, a, a process that we have here at the Wellness Center where we bring a person through something we call the annual pulse. Mm -hmm. And the annual pulse is designed to look at risk factors and diseases and we've actually classified all of those into the nine systems of the body. So from there we can um, actually document <laughs> document those things in the systems of the body themselves and actually help a person go through what we call a discovery pro uh, 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 process in which you can actually see, well, how many conditions and risk factors do I have per system of my body and so it's so incredibly enlightening and, and, and helps a person become aware when they can understand wow I've got you know six risk factors associated with heart disease and I already have three medical conditions associated with heart disease and that's tied to my cardiometabolic system. Um, so, so this relates really well with what we're doing with uh, Trivita Shield as well. Okay, so explain a little bit more. I know we've talked about this in the past. Um, the the jump from identifying a risk factor um, with a number, right, whether it's high blood pressure or some other number through the Trivita Shield, and the jump into connecting that with uh, one of these nine body systems, because that's pretty um, for the for the layperson like me. That that begins to make sense if I can equate what what's, what can seem like generic numbers or information into something that's actually uh, a strategy to start addressing it. Can you talk about that relationship a bit more? Absolutely, absolutely. So, in the modern um, medical uh, dynamic that we have, most people are going to doctors when they're sick. Mm -hmm. um, but they're not necessarily going to doctors when they're not sick. What, what we would hope is is that through Trivita Shield, Trivita Wellness Center, 
that we could actually help a person understand where they're at with their numbers. And that could start on Trivita Shield. That could start with three basic numbers that you need to really have that thing work. It'll ask you lifestyle questions. It'll ask you medical questions. It'll ask you a wide variety of questions. And you'll answer those questions. And Trivita Shield is designed to take the answers that you're supplying because the questions are linked to science and the latest science that's available to us. And so once that information is in Trivita Shield, now you have the ability to look at, oh my goodness, I had no idea that this lifestyle that I've lived or this condition that I had is putting me at a higher risk for X, Y, or Z. Um, the beauty of Trivita Shield also is that you can trend that information. And doctors have been doing this for a long, long time. They've been collecting information on a person, even a healthy person. They are seeing numbers get closer and closer and closer to abnormal, but doctors are not trained to communicate that you're getting close. They're trained to say, hey, listen, you have now a disease, and what we're going to try to do is help the, the person on Trivita Shield through TWAs, which is our Trivita wellness assistance that they have over at Trivita, mm -hmm. um, to help people understand these are risk factors that you have specific. And here are some excellent things that you could be doing with your lifestyle to reduce your incidence of getting these diseases in your lifetime. So why, why do you like the connection with a body system then as a starting point to, to helping a person? I think it's important for people to, to understand that there are first five distinct categories of health and disease, right? Okay. We have genetic issues. These yeah. are things that are in our genes. There's healthy, there's subtle uh, conditions that pop up that, you know, lack of energy, can't sleep. I mean, basic little things going to the doctor and saying, I just don't feel like I used to feel, but they run all the tests and really can't find anything wrong with you. Mm -hmm. Then you move into an emerging state of, of disease, and that's where it may or may not be detectable through diagnostic testing, and then it moves into gross. So by looking at your body from a systems approach, we can take some of the subtle, emerging, genetic, and gross issues that you're dealing with and say that condition of, let's say, high cholesterol belongs to your cardiometabolic system. But we're not just going to focus on one or two things. We're going to focus on your whole self. And in your whole self, you've got nine distinct systems of your body. Mm -hmm. And if we can understand what types of conditions you have, what types of risk factors you have, what types of lifestyle you're living, we can actually begin to put those pieces of information, which can be numbers, um, into a what we would call a discovery profile here at, at Trivita Wellness Center through our annual pulse and say, hey, Garth, hey, Bill, hey, Mary, you have seven risk factors associated with preventable disease, and you already have, uh, you know, three emerging states of disease and, and, and two um, gross states of disease. And those happen to be in just two systems of your body. We would really like to work with you to help you identify three numbers that matter that we can co-create a plan for you to begin your health and wellness journey. So those those three numbers that matter, are those standard numbers or are they numbers based upon a specific thing that came up in, in, in some of the analysis? Yeah, so those three numbers that matter would come out of a, a consult with one of our doctors at Trivita Wellness Center. So there is a distinction between um, Trivita Shield and collecting information for yourself and putting your information in there such as labs and so on and trending that information and watching how your numbers are changing and of course you can do that with your primary care doctor you can manually enter all those uh, numbers into your own um, Trivita Shield 
But at the moment you would come here to the Wellness Center, we're going to use the information on SHIELD. We're going to input that information into your medical record, and then we're also going to take it further uh, through additional advanced diagnostic testing, a w wide variety of things that we have to offer. Our focus at Trivita Wellness Center is that the individual matters. It's not the condition. It's not the disease. It's not a pill for every ill. It's not about that. It's about looking at a person as a whole person. And Trivita Shield is an excellent way for a person to begin to discover what the current state of their health is and then to begin to say, wow, there are things that I could be doing to influence the quality of my life and wow, there's a whole another level here of Trivita Wellness Center and coming for an annual pulse and then getting a, a involved with a, a team-based approach, an integrative approach that says, hey, listen, we want to support you in this. We don't want you going to the internet to, to find the latest and greatest whatever, we want to help support the system of your body that's most compromised, and we want to co-create a plan for you. Okay, so let, let me uh, um, not summarize, but sort of like, I, I think in logical order of things, right? Okay, so you, you mentioned uh, a comment before, which I thought was very interesting. Even the questions in the Trivita Shield, you said, are linked to science, right? So it begins there by, these aren't just random questions. They're actually a reason why the questions are asked in that way. Is that correct? It's absolutely correct. Okay. Lifestyle, medical history, family history, genetics, if you upgrade to that. Um, all of those answers are linked to... Uh, pub med studies or medical studies that are published and um, also backed by Stanford itself. So uh, so that's our starting point. It produces numbers, it starts identifying aspects, and the shield then um, really uh, helps a person zero in on exactly what they have to do. I mean, that's very basic. But, right. I mean, it, it, Trivita Shield is actually going to make you aware of what you could be doing to um, uh, uh, optimize your health and well-being. And, you know, another key of Trivita Shield that we haven't talked about yet is it has tracking with, you know, wearables and so on and so forth. So all of that data can begin to go in there as well. So a person can really start to say, not, hey, Bill, do you, do you exercise? And, and, and do you sleep well, and so on and so forth, it's actual data on how well you're sleeping based on the wearable data, how much you're moving based on the wearable data. All of that is set up in Trivita Shield as well. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I bought a Fitbit, and it tracks my sleep, and it feeds right into the Shield. And I've, you know, it's, it's amazing how... Uh, I can assume that I'm doing, oh, I'm eating enough fruits and vegetables, I'm getting enough sleep. And, and But once I see the numbers, it's like, I'm not getting enough sleep, you know? And it's exactly. kind of like, as obvious as I, I could probably have figured that out, but I don't. But having numbers in front of me have actually shown me areas where, and I don't have to make a lot of changes with it, but it's making a huge difference just because I know those numbers. Exactly. And, you know, again, what is causing a lack of sleep or what is causing a lack of movement, right? right. There's many factors that can contribute to that that we kind of talked about on the top end here uh, at the beginning of, of the program. So lots and lots of opportunities once you become aware. And that, again, I mean, how many people know what their cholesterol numbers are, for, you know, and, and have trended that over the last couple of years or so on and so forth? Their glucose numbers, you know, their blood pressure, so on and so forth, sleep. Uh, we're just not really aware of, of, of how we truly feel and how that's relating to the outcome of our lives. Mm -hmm. uh, you've given an example in the past about... Uh, so we're all in business, right? If if our, our business numbers aren't good, right? We're losing money or sales are up or sales are down. We we know those, right? We look in our back office, we see our volume numbers and we're like, oh, I got to do something about this, right? It, it gives us an indication. This is kind of a very similar type uh, tool. You're exactly right because 
in our financial lives, we have the cost of our business, the cost of our household, the cost, right? And and it's it, the more we can reduce the cost, the better off we are. Particularly if we can bring in more um, uh, equity into our lives. And so on the equity side, those are your investment opportunities. That could be a business, that could be a home, that could be a, a, a lot of different things, but it could also be you investing in the quality of your own life because I promise you, no matter how much money you have, no matter how many homes you own, if your health fails, you have lost the greatest um, force in your life and you won't be able to enjoy those things. By making investments in your life, Trivita Shield, the annual pulse at Trivita Wellness Center, um, nutraceuticals from Trivita, these are investments that you're putting into your life. And investments, um, when organized in a in a in a uh, fashion that you've looked at the data and you're supporting the data with your investments, I'm telling you, have huge 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 returns. It's not how long we live, it's the quality of the living while we're alive. So who is the, the um, not the target, yeah, help, help us identify our target audience, because there's some people out there that, you know, that don't want to know, right? Like I, I, I've had some people say, oh, that sounds fascinating when I talk about the shield, but some people go, I don't really want to know what my risk factors are. Um, but there are people that uh, want to know or make decisions to spend money. Like, how would you define a target audience for us to speak to and, and address that? I want to give an analogy here mm -hmm. because many, many years ago, slavery, as an example, was a standard of life. Is that true? Yes. It was. It, it was a way of life. People thought this is, you know, exactly the way things should be. If we go back even further, th there was an idea that the Earth was flat, mm -hmm. and and it was it was as true as as the phone call that we're on in this moment. Mm -hmm. There was a time when people saw the Earth as the center of the universe. Listen, there are many, many concepts and ideas that are out there that limit us and, and hold us as a status quo. If we backed up 100 years ago, the standard allopathic model that is being offered to the public right now, which people are, are lining up for, it is a huge political uh, thing that's going on right now, and yet we don't even have the statistics to show that the healthcare model that exists today is of uh, value. We have the highest cost of healthcare in the world. We have almost the highest incidence of disease in the world. Incredible. And if if half of what I'm saying is true, and it's all true. And I encourage everyone to get on, 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 on the internet and search this stuff because it's all being published. There, there are, are hundreds of thousands of people dying due to medical error all by itself. Hmm. And yet the public has no issue with looking at the standard medical model as their only option, by the way. Mm -hmm and saying, I'm going to write a check every single month. I, I know, uh, Garth, that I'm talking to business owners on this call, mm -hmm. and they're writing checks every month to pay insurance premiums. Mm -hmm. But if we could just stop for a moment and we could look at what, we're, what the cost of health care is for us and that it is either working or not working in our own lives and begin to understand that in, in the current model we have right now, that there is only a, we're in a consumer-based healthcare model. If we're buying insurance, all we're doing is buying a discounted rate for medical services. And by the way, the medical services that are being offered to us only suppress the condition. There's no medications or surgeries that can cure you of any disease. We're funneling billions of dollars into a healthcare model 
that now at, at a political level they're asking um, the government to supply that model to everybody free of charge and all I think our message is is that no matter what the state of events are it is up to us as this country in this in this country in this day and age to say you know what what we're funding right now is not working and I'm thankful for for trauma care I'm thankful for emergency care I'm thankful for many many things but at the end of the day I think your audience is the public mm -hmm. and it's going to take education through teams like you've organized Garth to help people understand that this is a system that's not working and if we don't partner with more of a natural approach to medicine. I'm not saying abolish what's going on. I'm saying that there has to be more and there has to be personal responsibility. And I'm I'm so thankful that we're having this phone call because you have an army of people that can go out and begin to educate wow. the public. And I tell you, once the public can see this, it becomes much more transparent of, of what they can do in their own lives. That's pretty powerful. It's big responsibility, and uh, and yeah. So personal responsibility is what we are showing, and and we've got the science and the the partnering. I like that partnering with that, Paul. So that's very good. Um, I can't believe we're we're out of time here already. The conversation has gone way too quickly. Um, uh, but just maybe just have you end on kind of just a, a point of clarification because some questions came in on on the question panel. So Perfect. the the Trivita Shield is not the wellness center, although it's a tool that the wellness center can use. It's a tool that we can use. That when you talked about the annual pulse, there's um, there's uh, that's a Trivita wellness center aspect that a person could do after the shield. So they're not necessarily related, but they are related all at the same time. Is that? Yeah, our goal, there is a distinction. They are completely separate, separate things. Yeah. But in the business strategy that we're trying to create here, we want the, the customer to be empowered with scientific information from, from Trivita Shield yeah. and to know that we at Trivita Wellness Center know how to use that tool here to help the individual maximize the platform. That's awesome. That's awesome. Cool. Well, um, We'll have you back on another call in the future, Paul. I'd love to do it. Any questions that came up that I can clarify, Garth, please feel free to email those to me. And anytime you guys would like to have me back, I'd, I'd be more than happy. That's awesome. Thank you very much, Paul. Um, we're we're going to move into, and this is, this is uh, I know Paul wants to hear this as well. Um, we have Barb Becker on the phone um, who's been on the Shield. And, and this is going to sort of put a real life story of what, Paul just talked about into human form of how this actually works. So, Barb, are you with us? Yes, I am. It's good to have you. So, um, I'm glad to be here. Yeah. So, you um, got started on the Trivita Shield pilot, right? What 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 sort of happened um, when you started? Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Well, it's very interesting. <clears throat> As a believer. You know, we do our best to to live a godly life, but sometimes we forget about our own bodies, and <laughs> sometimes we get to a place where we just think, can't find a way out. Right. And I received a call from Tom Trexler, to, and he asked me to be part of the Trivita Shield um, program. And the, he didn't know this, but the day before, I'd been crying out for the grace to overcome the give up mentality because I've been with Trivita for uh, about a year and a half and I love Trivita but somewhere in the midst of it I got very disappointed in myself and just basically gave up and I have been crying out to the Lord for the grace and the strength and the wisdom and one of my prayers was Lord teach me how to hate the things that are bad for me and love the things that are good for me and the very next day, Tom called and asked me to be part of the Trivita uh, pilot program. And so I said yes, because I, I just knew, knew in my heart that this was the Lord 
way of answering that prayer. So I began the journey, went and bought myself a Fitbit, mm-hmm. and uh, which I love, by the way, and started, you know, I filled out all the, I went through all the videos and, and set myself up with base health and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And it, it's just been a shot in the arm. I don't know how else to put put it you know yeah. uh, Paul talked about personal responsibility and uh, it's uh, when you've given up on yourself it's really hard to take that personal responsibility because you just have that attitude of just giving up and the Trivita uh, shield has really caused me to focus and it's actually brought an accountability into my heart and life that that I I don't think I've ever fully grasped until now so, and it really has been an encouragement. I'm exercising. I mean, I'm I'm really exercising. I'm not playing around. Before I would go, eh, if I if I don't want to go, I I don't need to go today. Right. But now I'm committed. It's it's just been that place of accountability, and I just uh, absolutely I'm amazed at what is already transforming in my life. You know, and as far as weight. Um, I've been losing weight, losing inches, and, and I feel good about myself. I'm very energized, and it, I believe it's because of the pilot program that Trivita Shield has really been an inspiration, an inspirational tool in my life. Wow. And I'm really grateful. Well, you, you can hear it in your voice, how it, it's impacted you, and it's it's an amazing thing. So let, let me just ask one more question then. What what kind of, was there something that we talked about it helped make you accountable? It helped connect you more <laughs> to the journey that you wanted to go on. Was there something that well, specifically triggered that, or is it just knowing this was out oh, there? Like, how, how did that work for you? Well, for for one thing, I had just gotten my um, um, in our city, our hospital does a birthday b- blood draw. Yeah. And so I had gone just a few weeks before and had my birthday blood draw, and of course, sure. it shows you. You know, you've got you've got um, issues with your HDL and your LDL and your thyroid and I'm thinking oh my gosh there's no way out there's just no way out Uh, you know because I just had such a defeatist attitude and um, which is kind of weird when you're a believer you know (laughs) but but that's that's where I was at and when I saw that and then after the call with Tom and I got involved in the in the program and started going through this stuff. For the first time, I saw steps that I could take to get out. Wow. It was like a path was being laid before me. I, I felt equipped, like tools were be, being given to me. What really shot me forward was when I ha- went and had my, um, oh, golly, I can't think what it's called, the uh, homocysteine. Yeah, homocysteine. I went and had that test. I paid extra to go have the homocysteine test just to find out where it was at. Mm-hmm. Because I have a friend who has heart issues, and she told me that homocysteine levels, if they're too high, it's not good. Mm-hmm. So I did that test, and I put that also in the shield, um, in the, you know, in the base health thing for your medical. Mm-hmm. But um, when I sat outside the doctor's office after I opened that report up and saw that that my levels, um, I was told that anywhere between 8 and 10 is really good, but I was at 11. Wow. And for a split second, that hopelessness tried to come back in. And I remembered the Lord set up Trivita Shield in my life. And all of a sudden, I had hope, and I knew it could be overcome. And, and it was like it just fell before me. And I might not be there now, but I am headed there. And the journey, uh, the journey to health and wholeness. I mean, I feel so much better physically. I've dropped 14 pounds wow. since I started this, and 14 pounds might not be much for to, to some, but it's huge to me. Yeah. And I, I mean, when I saw that just last week, I hit the 14 pound mark, and I did. I threw my hands up in the air and I thanked the Lord, mm. and I think uh, you know I was just so grateful for the tools and the equipping that that came out of my experience with with uh, the shield. Wow, Barb. Wow. And it is a shield. Yeah. Um, I have tears in my eyes as you are saying all this. This is, this is pretty powerful. I, I want to bring Tom on right now too, Tom. Um, 
and maybe have you comment on it. So first of all, Tom, congratulations on changing someone's life. When you first heard about the shield, uh, I know you thought about people right away because that's what you do, and you thought of Barb, and this is pretty remarkable about the series of events. Um, it must be motivating for you. I wish right now you could see the smile on my face. Uh, I'm just grinning from ear to ear, so to speak. And Barb is such a special person. She was actually introduced to Trivita through uh, another leader on our team, Barbara Wintrobel. Uh, both are involved in ministry. Barb is a pastor there in North Dakota. And even with the, the cold weather and all the challenges of North Dakota, she's out there getting into the gym and exercising and changing her life. And, you know, that, that's such a blessing and that's what this is about if everybody would that's listening to this uh, there most are participating in the Trivita Shield pilot but if you're listening to this and you're not when Trivita Shield rolls out at the first of April you need to be on it you need to use it yourself and then go out and share it and that's the magic in this is uh, I shared the opportunity that was made available to us by Michael Ellison to participate in the Shield pilot to, to Barb and now she'll go out and, and reach many, many people because of her own personal testimony. And that's all we have to do, not be focused on the business or any other aspect, just be focused on sharing and impacting other people's lives. And we are going to be able to make major impacts on other people. And what a, what a blessing it will be to, to you when you share it with someone to hear this kind of feedback in the future. Mm -hmm. And that's why I believe Trivita Shield will really grow and grow organically because of the people naturally wanting to share their personal testimonies of how it's impacting their life. They'll feel compelled to do that. And uh, that's the beauty of this program. All we have to do is go out and share. Uh, and then through the personal wellness assistance and uh, the back-end uh, support and help that comes from the wellness center, we'll uh, uh, introduce those people to the nutraceuticals that Trivita wow. offers and other things. And we just go out and share and help change people's lives. Well said. So uh, you're doing that obviously already, uh, point in case, Barb. Um, but you're also you're doing this in a more formal way. You're having a meeting in April. April 16th in Charlotte. Do you want to just briefly uh, talk about that and then we'll wrap up the call here after that? Absolutely, yes. Uh, mark your calendars. April the 16th, that's a Saturday. Uh, that'll be two weeks after we have launched Travita Shield out at the event uh, in Scottsdale, Arizona. Mm -hmm. uh, so we will be officially launching it on the East Coast. So anybody who's in uh, driving or even flying distance, come on into Charlotte that Saturday. Barry Borthistle will be joining with us uh, there at the Ballantine Hotel and Resort in Charlotte. We'll be mm -hmm. providing a flyer. Uh, Garth and I will be working on that to get out to you soon, but it'll be from 10 a.m. till 1 o'clock, and uh, we will be launching Trivita Shield to do training. You'll hear testimonies and uh, how to go out and to share this and impact people like what you heard Barb share today. That's good. Thank you, Tom. Um, there's a, uh, it's going to be a great event uh, as well. So uh, a couple of really last, uh, really important uh, notices here, just as, as we wrap up. There's a question here. We have uh, a medical doctor on the call today who's listening in, and, and I'm going to just read his comment in the question panel that he put. He said, hi, Garth. I agree so much with what Paul is saying, as an MD, I've spent 40 years trying to encourage, cajole, persuade patients to be responsible for their own health. Most primary care physicians do this each and every day. However, it often seems like a never-ending uphill battle. People seem to just not take responsibility. I like what Paul says and agree that widespread education is critical and perhaps a new funding model needs to encourage and support wellness care. Uh, would be the way to motivate um, uh, people rather than simply funding only disease care, and it's like, yeah, uh, this is this is this is a way to tap into that to fund it. I mean, we have an ITBO business that motivates us to financially keep telling it, um, but also get people to take more responsibility. So there's just another source of just endorsement of, of what we're doing here. Thank you very much, Glenn, for, for saying all that. Uh, 
want to remind everybody that this Thursday, uh, there was a question on the thing about the genetic testing. We're going to learn all about it this Thursday, a Trivita's live stream event. It's open to everybody, even if you're not on the pilot program. Um, the company is opening it up to everybody. So 6 p.m. Mountain Time, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8, no, that's 8, uh, yeah, 8, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, make sure you join the live stream on this Thursday. Uh, you've heard about the launch event. The launch event is April 1 and 2 in Scottsdale, Arizona. Uh, the on our uh, teamglb.com webpage, there's a link to the registration for this. It goes to the company's registration, but you can go to teamglb.com and get the link on the events page. Uh, the, the, the night before, we're going to do a special um, GLB team event, and we'll get details on that. But if you want to fly in the morning of, uh, the Thursday morning, uh, you'll definitely make that event. We're going to have something in the evening uh, before the 31st. We don't have a formal hotel, but I know a lot of people are booking at the Fairfield Inn and the Sleep Inn. For those that are coming, it's just a self-book. There's no group rates at this point um, in North Scottsdale. Uh, there's the event uh, calendar. The April 1st is will actually be certified to how to present the shield to people. So it's going to be very good. And then we have all the tools and training and the business aspect on the second on Monday. There's Tom's event on April 16th. And with that, uh, we've been a little bit longer, but I thank you all for staying around. TeamGLB.com. I put the recordings of the webinar up there. There's event information up there. So it's a good resource to get a lot of this information. Um, thank you, everyone. Thank you. And uh, that closes it out. I'm just checking if there's any questions that came in on the panel that I could uh, answer with everyone. But uh, I think we're all caught up in that. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Barb, Tom, everyone for joining. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.